Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. One of the most important questions I always get from my clients is that is the taste of the farm shrimp as good as a wild shrimp? So in this video, I'll be actually showing you guys a difference between the farm shrimp and the wild shrimp and in terms of difference and how do they pack it and in terms of their supply chain. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. For those who are new to RS Aquaculture, we actually produce weekly content with regards to shrimp farming and market farming and we constantly compare our products with many other products. So do like and subscribe so that you will get a weekly notification. So for today's video, so what I have here is actually Vaname which is actually a farm shrimp. You can see that it looks a bit greyish. It's also known as the Pacific White Shrimp. So these shrimps are actually pretty big. So 4 pieces makes 150 grams. Uh, they are at least about 38 grams each which makes it about 30 counts to sometimes 25 counts to 30 counts. So these are actually shrimps that you have to cultivate for at least 4 months. right? So the second uh, shrimps that we have here is actually frozen shrimp. So you can see that each pack weighs about a kilo, right? Uh, and actually these sizes, right, uh, they are also about in the range of 30 to 40 counts per kilo, right? So that means per piece it should have approximately 25 to about 28 grams of shrimp. And we have a bigger size, uh, which you see over on the right side. This is actually 26 to 30 counts of shrimp. So one of the things you see with this wild shrimp is that it is typically in the frozen format. And uh, you can see that obviously they have a lot of ice that's used to freeze it and keep its uh, natural taste because uh, usually these wild shrimps are not what we call individually quick frozen because they're probably trawled from a boat and it takes them a few days before they, they got into shore and they probably might freeze it on the boat or depending on the case they might actually freeze it on land. So that is what we're trying to figure out here. I'll be also taking some ice samples and doing a water quality test so that we can see what water they're actually using to freeze these uh, shrimps that we see over here. All right, so I extracted some there, uh, which I'll show you uh, towards the end. So what we first did is to figure out how much shrimps we actually have in one kilo, right? Because you can see obviously a lot of them has been frozen with ice. So the first step was for us to defrost the shrimps. Uh, we started doing that first and we will weigh them very shortly. So I'll first start off with the 30 to 40 count shrimp which is on the left then I'll later on go on to do the 25 to 30 uh, count shrimp which is on the right. So this is a smaller size it's about 28 grams so as per the spec that I bought it it's actually correct because that is actually in a range between 30 to 40 counts so four pieces brings about 122 grams and what we're going to do next is to weigh off the shrimp and see how much weight do we actually get. So by putting all the shrimps all, all from the same pack and stacking them up onto the tray, what we actually realize is it does not add up to one kilo, right? Because the whole ice pack was about one kilo and you minus off the ice, you will realize that most of these wild shrimps, uh, they actually have at least 20 to 30% glazing depending on the case. So what I had here was about 240 grams of um, glazing it means it was 25 percent water and i had about 700 grams of uh, shrimps and the bigger size one uh, it was actually better um, so you can see that it's actually bigger right four shrimps i could get about 100 close to 140 150 so this is approximately the same size that is actually written on the spec which is 26 30 but similarly if we weigh all of the shrimps and to see whether the whole pack adds up to a kilo the answer is no right so this packet is even worse uh if i'm not wrong we are running at about 650 grams of shrimps whereas 35 percent of this pack is actually water right so what you're paying with a lot of farm shrimp especially in this uh in this scenario is all the farm shrimps that you weigh in terms of without ice whereas the wild shrimp you have 20 to 30 percent glazing depending uh, where you're buying it from so what we proceeded next is to cook uh, the vaname and the wild shrimp and compare them side by side. So what you see here is the vaname, so they look a bit greyish. Uh, if you compare the previous one, the wild shrimp looks a bit pinkish. 
and the color is actually quite good um so it looks very fresh because this is actually harvest i think from yesterday so it's not too bad uh colors are actually very red uh and if i were to cook the farm the wild shrimp okay you can see that it is not so dark in color in comparison to the vaname Right, so what we proceeded to do next is to peel them up so that we can do a side by side comparison in terms of how they actually look like. And immediately I realized that uh, for some of the wild shrimp, it is actually not as fresh as Vaname because it's probably due to the logistic and how it was caught. Right. Um, whereas for the Vaname, you can see that it's on the right side. So this is the, actually the Vaname. The second one here is the 26 to 30 gram wild shrimp and this is actually the 20s, the biggest the shrimps. So you can see that in terms of color, uh, the Vaname actually performs uh, better because it's probably fresher. And taste wise, uh, sweetness or what we call the umami tasting, it is the Vaname is actually just as good as the wild shrimp. Um, but I would like to comment on the wild shrimp has a slightly different meat texture. It tastes a little bit more like a lobster. Right. For some of the ice that melted, we actually took it and kept it for a few days and we proceeded to do a lab measurement. So what we realized is actually the salinity is actually very low, but the alkalinity is actually very high. It's not normal to have fresh water to have 250 ppm of alkalinity, meaning they have already added something to preserve the shrimp uh, or what. And if I were to guess that component it should be sodium bicarbonate. Right. So hopefully you guys learned something for today's video and hope to see you guys back again at RS Aquaculture. So stay tuned.